Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing a Williams New Haven P32DC. This is a type of locomotive which I've wanted to buy for quite a while now. Back in 2013, me and my family went on a trip, and I actually saw one of these locomotives at Grand Central Station. I was much happier at the time than I appear in the photos, but anyways, I've always wanted a model of one, and no manufacturer makes one in HO scale, but they do make one in O scale. It's not totally prototypical because it's actually a P42, whereas the real one's a P32, but uh, either way, I figured I'd order one up and add it to the O scale collection. I don't have a crazy amount of O scale stuff, so I thought this would be something interesting. Anyways, let's get this thing out of the box and see what it's all about. I mean, this isn't the best display of it, but uh, you kind of can get the picture. Let's get this thing out of the box. Look at that. What a cool locomotive. Ah, oh, this is way better than it looked in the pictures, honestly. Just a quick closer look at this thing kind of reveals that the detail is a little bit of a mixed bag. I find that things down here by the pilot look kind of lackluster. There's no signs of there being a snow plow as there should. They also didn't decide to put a window divider up here, which I think would have made this model look a heck of a lot better. I will give them tons of credit in terms of the paintwork, though. It looks great. It's super crisp. Uh, all the lettering is pretty much perfect. I don't see any signs of overspray. They did uh, bother to paint a lot of small areas, too, like around the windows on the grab irons and uh, even the cap for the fuel tank which is pretty impressive and there are lots of little decals here and there which I think make this thing uh, look a lot better so that's all nice to see I find that the construction overall feels pretty good this thing seems pretty sturdy the plastic's nice and thick so I think if somebody were to drop it it would probably be okay one small quality control thing I noticed is that the rear pickup shoe is not as well sprung as the front one. It's probably not going to make much of a difference in terms of performance, but it's just something I thought I'd point out. I think the only thing that I find very strange about this locomotive is the uh, fuel cell is uh, super dirty. And uh, keep in mind, this is a locomotive that came straight from the factory, so it's not too impressive to see this thing looking like this when it's been factory sealed, so that's a little unusual. Anyways, why don't we take this thing over to the track and actually see how it runs for the first time. Fortunately, I don't have much in terms of trackage to actually test this locomotive out, but we've got a couple boxes here which I think are going to change that, so let's get those all opened up. Well, this stuff certainly doesn't look half bad. I just hope I ordered enough to actually put together the layout I was hoping to build here. I don't know. Let's uh, try to put it all together.
I really hope that this thing uh, works with my current setup. I asked the community a couple months ago whether or not a modern locomotive like this would work with my old Lionel controller, and uh, the reactions were kind of mixed, so we'll just have to see. Anyways, without further ado, let's give this thing some power and see what happens here. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's even sound equipped. Check that out. Oh, very nice. Well, I certainly don't have much in the way of passenger cars, but I kind of want to see what the pulling capacity is like on this locomotive, so I think we'll stop it and we'll put some of my Lionel cars behind it and see how it pulls those. See if she'll do it here. Oh yeah, no problems. Well, I've now been running this thing for about 10 minutes and I haven't had any problems with it so far. So I think we've got ourselves a good unit right out of the box, which is great to see. And yet overall, this seems like a pretty good locomotive. I'm going to be curious to see over the uh, tests of time how well it holds up. But uh, right off the bat, I've got a good first impression of it. Anyways, I think we'll finish things off there. I hope you all enjoyed. And with that, I'd just like to thank you all so much for watching.